Which you guys gonna have a mini PC review here from Geekom. This is their very latest mini PC. It's the A7. This has a Ryzen 9 processor in it, which is a super powerful processor for a mini PC. And we're gonna be doing some benchmarks and also I'll show you some temperatures and some other things. So you can see this one is the model A7. It's got the Ryzen 9 7940HS. This model has 32 gigabytes of RAM, but here's the full specs, as you can see here. Eight cores, 16 threads on this, base clock 4.0 gigahertz, boost clock up to 5.2 gigahertz. Does have that AMD Radeon graphics 780M. Dual channel memory on here, DDR5 5600MT, and this can be upgraded to 64 gigabytes. It does come with an M.2 2280 PCI Express Gen 4. This version is the two terabyte version. And we also have Intel Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 on this particular model. Let's take a look at everything you get inside the box. Here is everything you get. You get your user manual, which is going to help you understand and set up your mini PC. You're also going to get your warranty card here. You get your power plug and the adapter here. So this is the adapter on the end. And this goes into this power brick, which is going to power the actual unit. And there is the barrel jack on the end. Let me just take a look at the wattage and amps on this. So this is 19 volts, uh, 6.32 amps, which is 120 watts. It's not going to use uh, that much wattage to power this little mini PC, but that is what this adapter uh, is supporting and you can see it's a very slimline type adapter here you get a hdmi cable included in the kit here probably a meter long or something like that and also we're going to get the actual mini pc itself a very nice looking mini pc quite small and quite slimline i do like this uh silvery type of look here it looks very much like an apple uh, type of device on the front we do have two usb ports these are USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports, and we have one power button and one 3.5 millimeter front stereo headset jack. We do have a SD input here where we can put in an SD card for more storage if we wanted to. Ventilation on this side here. Let's move on round to the back. This is where all of the main ports are. We have our DC in, which is our power. We have two HDMI 2.0 ports, and we have that USB 4 Gen 3 Type C port there. We also have a RJ45, which is your Ethernet port. This is a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port. Also another USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A port and a USB 2.0 Type A port on there as well. And another USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C port on there as well. If you want to take a look inside the device, I've removed the bottom here so you don't have to. We do have that NVMe drive made by Acer there. And also we have crucial memory inside here as well. So good quality components in here. No room for any sort of SSD upgrade inside here. So you are going to have to use that two terabyte drive in here. But you can always plug in an external drive for storage. And you can also use that SD card uh, input there for more storage as well. Now, because of the Ace Magic Saga, I've decided to add this into all of my mini PC reviews by doing a scan. I've done two scans here, one with Windows Defender and one with ESET Online Scanner and there's no malware on this system whatsoever, which is a good sign. Let's move on to some benchmarks. We're going to do Geekbench 6 here, and we're going to run a scan with this. We're going to do the CPU and a GPU. First off, single core score was 2,709, and the multi-core score was 13,289. That was on Geekbench uh, 6 benchmarks. So let's go ahead and do the GPU benchmark so you can see what scores we get here. So I'm going to quickly run this one here and I'll show you the results. So we've got 33,193 on the GPU score. This is OpenCL score, as you can see there, listed on the screen. That was for the Geekom A7. As you can see, a very powerful mini PC. So let's do a quick benchmark of the NVMe drive. For the reads, it's 4,885, and for the writes, it's 4,692. Also, we're gonna do a Cinebench here for the R223 version. And what we're looking for here is we're going to do a single core uh, test and we're also going to do the multi-core. We're running the multi-core right here. And this is where uh, some mini PCs fail. They start to have thermal throttling. You start seeing temperature problems and you start seeing some other issues with uh, TJ Maxx and things like that. But you can safely say that there is nothing going on here. And I left this running all the way through just to show you uh, how good the cooling is on this uh, Geekom A7. It's probably one of the best cooling 
MIDI PCs on the market. So well done uh, to Geekom. And Geekom have really upped their game when it comes to calling MIDI PCs. So as you can see here, there is the score right there, 15,368. So I'm going to do the single core benchmark now. That was the multi-core, and you can see the scores there, 1,823 on the single core, no thermal throttling whatsoever. And you can see the other score there for the multi-core benchmarks. Very impressive with Cinebench, as you can see. So let's go ahead and do some video playback here. So I'm going to run Jellyfish 400 Mbps 4K Ultra HD HEVC 10-bit file. And this is quite a difficult file to play. But as you can see here, I play this silky smooth playback. So it's going to play back all your 4K video. No problem at all. I'll skip it here and starts instantly, as you'd expect, from this very powerful CPU. So this is going to be great for Plex servers, also playing back all your 4K content. You can use this for video editing, 4K uh, video editing, 4K streaming, as you can see here on YouTube, works flawlessly, no problems whatsoever, no drop frames here, works absolutely flawless. I'll quickly drag the screen so you can see it start up immediately. And again, as long as you've got good internet speed, you should be able to do 4K streaming on this, no problem whatsoever. And Geekom claimed that you can do 4K max on four screens on this device, which is absolutely mind-blowing. You can do 8K on a single screen as well. So I did play some games on here. I did play The Witcher at 1080p here. And again, I had some little stuttering, as you would expect, on a mini PC. Uh, it is playable, uh, and you can mess around with the settings and play around with the resolution if you want to. If you want to play uh, AAA listed games, you can do on this device. But again, every game is different and you will need to mess around with the resolution and also the graphic settings to make sure it's not set too high. It can play all your retro games. So if you love playing retro games or even Windows Store games, this little mini PC will be able to handle that for you. No problem at all. If you want to render videos, again, it can handle 4K rendering as well. Uh, so you have no problems with editing videos on this powerful uh, system. It is a very powerful mini PC, probably one of the most powerful out there on the market today in 2024. So if you're looking for a very decent mini PC that does just about everything you want it to do, then something like this is going to really tick all the boxes. And uh, I must say, I'm pretty impressed with the design of it, the cooling uh, the lack of thermal throttling and temperature issues that some of the other ones have had in the past. This one has no problems whatsoever. I shall leave all the information and links in the video description if you're interested in something like this. There is actually a flash sale on this device right now, and uh, you can check that out by having a look on their website from the links in the video description there. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below what your views are on this little mini PC. It does look pretty nice. It will look lovely on someone's desk. And I might even do some giveaways in the future on our Discord server. So stay tuned for some of those because I've got a few of these that I need to get rid of. And uh, this is probably going to be the best place for me to get rid of them. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.